Okay, Simon, last time out, last minute defeat at, at Boreham Wood. Obviously, you analyse every every victory, every defeat. When you've got so many games coming coming up in such a short space of time, how important is it to get the balance right between analysing and then being positive and looking forward? Yeah, I mean, it's a good question. I, I, I think um, you have to move on probably quicker than than ever, really. And um, we've got some big games ahead, and we're all looking forward to them. You know, it should be a full crowd here. We're hoping for on Boxing Day. Um, there wasn't too much wrong, you know, the other day. We, I think we should have created more chances and more strikes on goal in the attacking sense and defensively. It's just a, a few things to improve upon, but you know nothing nothing was drastic you know we could have easily come away with a really useful point there but the lads were really really bright this morning and we're all looking forward to the game now I know you afterwards you, with Barry you talked about the away form being towards the bottom of the, the form mm. table are you left scratching your head a little bit because you've been to Halifax and won Yeovil and won um, some of the teams at the top Bromley you should have won Barrow you won yeah mm. it's everyone else you seem to be struggling against yeah it, yeah I am a bit uh, <laughs> but we uh, we showed so good attitude the other day, uh, you know, when we played some really good stuff. So it wasn't really in line with the performances at Eastleigh and Sutton, where you are coming away really disappointed. We were more disappointed with the, you know, the result that it, we didn't probably deserve. You know, in the two-one defeat the other day. Um, there were some real positives, and you know, like I say, if we can just keep striving for that continual improvement, you know, at both ends of the pitch, they're all capable. And um, you know, players coming back into into form, you feel now, and you know, we've got a cracking home record. So that's the that's the next game we focus on. Yeah, you have to pull on Boxing Day. Everyone loves playing the Christmas fixtures. I presume mm. it's the same for you. Yeah, and you, you could just sense that today. Um, they've given me a few headaches for Christmas Day uh, to think about. You know, the, the team selection um, because they've, they've played some really bright stuff in training. And, uh, and it's given me a tonic as well, you know, because you, you worry about, you know, kind of hangover effect after a last minute defeat. But everyone was right up for it today and certainly stayed to claim. How hard is it to get your preparation right for these games over Christmas, knowing when to train, when not to train? Well, you know, it's a job at the end of the day, you know, you've, you've got to do it right, you know, as, as staff and, and as the players. And they'll all look, uh, look forward to the Boxing Day game and and they'll, they'll look after themselves but they, they, they got weighed today so we, we know we know no one's been sloppy the last couple of days apart from some of the staff um, and and they, they perform really well so I think you try and strike the right balance and not bring them in on a Christmas day and um, that's only happened to me once as a player and that team went down so obviously it didn't do the trick that year um, but I think it, it's it's valued time with the family that everyone needs and it shows that you trust your players. There's this mutual understanding between you that you've got to live the right way, even though you're well, professional. Of course, football. they're all you know, they're grown men, you know, and they'll uh, they're hungry to do well for the club. Hartlepool is then, not long since they were last year, just a fortnight ago. Mm. You got the win that day. Maybe in strange circumstances, yeah. it's, probably, it's probably fair to say. What did you learn about them that day, both your team and Hartlepool? Yeah, I think if you give them space, you know, we've seen the coverage of their game on Saturday as well against Dagenham. Give them space, they can play. You know, the wide men will roll in, they'll, they'll try and um, outnumber you in the middle area of the pitch and, and try and disorganise you defensively. But, you know, for us, when we were more in the face the second half and, and we, we passed the ball then when we were in the ascendancy. So, you know, there's uh, a lot of respect, I think, you know, for their players and their uh, management because they're, they're good people and they know certainly know the game well and uh, they've got their threats. Uh, but so have we, and we're at home, we're looking forward to it and, um, you know, we'll be... Coming out, all guns blazing out, out the traps. And I imagine there'll be a few changes for both sides from the teams that lined up that day. Yeah, certainly, certainly, certainly will be. You know, we we tried to just give others an opportunity on that on that day, um, and some stood up to it, some disappointed on the day. Um, but today, the league fixture is totally different. Is it strange? Well, I suppose it's not, because it happens quite regularly doesn't it, at this level now, and especially over Christmas to play the same side in quick succession, home and away within a week. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it always seems to be the case. Uh, is is but, that a good thing or not? Do you think? Does it uh, become a bit stale? Uh, it, it makes honestly no no difference to me. I, I'm just glad it's against a, a big club, you know, because they'll bring lots of followers and they're, uh, they're great away fans. To be honest, they, they get right behind their team, and it, and it in turn, I'm sure you know, our fans are coming at, are delighted. It's at home, you know, for Boxing Day, and it's going to be a big clash. Team news: everyone available. How's Mark back? Um, well, he'll have a late fitness test, um, and we're hoping for his involvement in the game. 
uh, because he's he's been one of the outstanding forwards mm -hmm. in our league, in my opinion, this season. Um, but others have looked sharp as well today, so if he misses out, it's an opportunity for someone else. Is it a bit of a balancing act as well, being maybe not asking him to do too much because we have all these games coming so quickly? Yeah, and that's uh, it's true of others as well. You can't just, you know, they've had an hour and a half training today because they had yesterday off. Um, we're not asking them to come in tomorrow. Uh, they needed a blowout today, um, and uh, without you know without overdoing it, but it's half twelve. You know, they're back home soon. I know you'd you'll have an idea about uh, what threats Chorley are going to possess your side on Saturday as well. Are you always thinking at this time of year, two or three games ahead, to say you know what I might need that player for that certain game? So maybe this game is going to be the game I give him a rest or is it just always the next game on the calendar that's the um, most important yeah yeah, you have an, an, an eye on it to a certain extent but there's a lot of un uncontrollables in the game aren't there that, you know, so you can't think too intensely about Chorley yet because we might have a couple that are un unavailable uh, and they may do too so, so it could change their shape um, we've not got a 30 man squad either to rest you know, key individuals so you know, we just try and get the, the benefits of momentum, hopefully, from picking up three good points. Yeah, we seem to talk about it every time I come and see you, but still, it's so tight, it's ridiculously tight, really, from right at the top all the way to mid-table, isn't it, in this league? It just seems a, a league this year that is a crazy one that everyone's capable of pulling their great results out of the bag and then failing the next week. And you know, I think it's those that bruise uh, too much that will slip out of it and those that just go, right, OK, new game, move on. And hopefully we're one of those teams that can... You know, learn and, and um, you know that continuous striving again uh, can really create something special in the second half of the season. We knew you know we went ten games unbeaten. Uh, we've got every ingredient in there that's necessary to do well. What are your plans for Christmas Day? Just at home, uh, hosting, looking after people. Um, but is really is Boxer Dever though that far away from you from your thoughts? Well, no, not at all. You know, last night I fell to sleep. You know, with my laptop and my lap in bed. You know, looking at Hartlepool and, um, but hopefully Christmas Day. You know, it, it is one day where you know the the planning will have been done today. You look forward to it more than anything. But the analysing's out the window tomorrow. We know, you know, we we know what we're about. We know Hartlepool, um, and it'll just be a great day. You know, with the kids and Sally, my wife. Wish you well. Merry Thank Christmas. You. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.